Hey everybody, welcome to Uncle Days Forget. Today I've got the Pretenders Brass and Pocket. And I'll explain where they got the title and where they got the name for the band. So we'll get to that in just a few minutes. But first, for you people who are new here, what I do is I talk in the beginning, I talk at the end, I don't stop or pause the video. So let's get to it. This is the original video that hit MTV back in the early 80s. And while I do this, you can hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, and make a comment. I got brass in pocket. I got battle. I am gonna use it. Intention. tell you a story about the song uh the song was actually written from the perspective of a guy that she wrote it with a, a couple of uh, or one of the gentlemen from the band and she wrote it with the perspective of it being a guy trying to get a girl and everybody turned it into this powerhouse girl power kind of song that you know she's special she saw this because of the video the video makes it look like that you know she was trying to get the guy and she says it just infuriates her that the video made it look that way when she was actually written, wrote the song from the point of a guy trying to get a girl who felt insecure and that kind of thing uh chrissy um grew up in akron ohio and she um she moved to england in 1973 and um so she picked up a lot of lingo over there and she was in several bands one of them being Sex Pistols and, and there were a couple other ones, minor uh, groups. But uh, she was part of the scene over there. And then she formed the Pretenders. Now, the Pretenders, the name of the group, is uh, comes from a boyfriend that she had, a former boyfriend, that his um, favorite 
song was The Pretender or The Great Pretender by The Platters. And so she took that and just shortened it to The Pretenders. And so she made that there. But anyway, back to her lingo, she picked up a lot of lingo. And brass is referring to coins, money. And she said that uh, she shared a, a uh, dressing room one time with a group over in England. And um, there was a pair of pants laying on the back of a chair. And she says, who are these? You know, who do these belong to? And one of the guys says, well, I'll take them if there's any brass in the pockets. And she asked what that meant. And he, he told her, he said, coins, money, you know, any kind, you know, that's brass. Come to find out it's a Northern England slang for money. So she liked that phrase and she held on to it. And she made this, uh, this song around that, uh, that phrase. But backing up a little bit, the reason, one of the reasons why she left America was she was at Kent State College when the, uh, I think it was 1970, when the Kent uh, killings occurred, when the um, Army National Guard had shot four of the students there that were unarmed during a, a protest. And one of the four was a boyfriend of one of her friends. And so she was very touched by it. And it, it left a big dent in her faith in our system and just in general, I guess. So she moved to England to get away from all that it, and went to over there and got involved with the music. But the, the, obviously she came back. She did not like this song because it was too poppy. It was too pop oriented. She liked a more harder edge, more grittier type songs. And she was actually embarrassed when this was became a big hit because it was so poppy, but it went to become a platinum hit for them. And MTV, it got off to a slow start at first, but when the MTV video came out, it just shot to the top and became a platinum song for her. So, and the album too. So I guess she kind of learned to love it after that because the money started rolling in. I guess she learned to live with it. I would, I wouldn't complain whether I liked it or not. And, uh, you know, but uh, that's a little bit about the group and a little bit about them. I will be playing some more of their stuff later on and we shall uh, end the session for today. If you would, I would love it if you would. Hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, leave a comment, suggestion. What songs do you want me to play and comment on? I'll try to dig up some history background on the group or the song or both. Thanks a lot for dropping by. Be nice to each other. Be nice to yourself. Bye.